This review was sponsored by Dorkside Toys. I've got a dork side for you. Okay, people, welcome back to another Foosh review. Today, I'm going to do something kind of different. I, well, I've done it before, but not very often. I've been getting a lot of cases lately, and I haven't been reviewing a lot of Marvel Legends. They're just piling up, so I thought, to hell with it. Let's just take a look at the whole wave. A quick, just bam, 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 bam. Well, as rapid fire as I get. Spend a couple minutes on each figure and then take a look at the Build-A-Figure. I'm excited about all six characters, but Omega Red most of all because of new body. And then Bishop because he's a nice repl... <laughs> I'm already rambling right off the bat. Let's start this thing. First up, Deadpool in his X-Men school uniform. Okay, this one kind of surprised me. It's not using the body I thought it was using. I thought it was the old Bucky Cat body. Black Panther that standard, but it's a scrawnier body. I'm running into the same problem I had with the Jim Lee Cyclops, and that's these falling down and these moving around. In fact, I think those are just reuse from that. So what's going to happen here is I'm eventually going to glue that up because I do like Deadpool in this uniform. I mean, it, it was in the comics. Therefore, I, it needs to be on my Deadpool shelf. I'm not sure about the belt. If we've seen that, I, it may be reuse, it may be not, but it looks nice. It fits well. I, it kind of rides high in the package. I pushed it down, uh, covers up that articulation point. And then I think this is from a, an earlier Deadpool. You have the swords on his back. You have this Nerf looking gun, uh, nice sculpt, but <laughs> it looks a little bit uh, futuristic if you're not looking at it as a Nerf gun. And then he comes with the head and hat from Madcap, which I don't understand why they put it here. Uh, can you put the madcap head on this body? Uh, you can, <laughs> and it's not bad at all. Does it deserve to go on this body? Are we eventually gonna get a madcap body? That'd be cool. I would also like to see this as morph from Exiles. I, the nose isn't quite right. This is custom fodder. I mean, that works for that, I think. Really nice range of articulation in the neck here. You can look, bury his chest, look up. You get some tilt out of it because of the socket. And then the rest of it's standard Marvel Legends body. Nice range in the elbows, nice range in the knees. Not a lot of out, but does get forward, does get back, and oh, those are getting glued on. There's no question about it. There's the Deadpool compared to the Jim Lee X-Men Cyclops. And then here he is with the 90s style Deadpool. Next up is Lady Deadpool. <laughs> no, sir. I do not like it sticking through the back of the bubble blister or whatever. Feed it through. There we go. I like the dynamic hair right here. It, it flows out. It comes around, but it doesn't look like it's blowing in the wind. Just whoosh, way sideways. She has one eye open more than the other. Uh, just classic Deadpool look right there. I like this harness. I like the belt. I like the leg harnesses. Again, if you get too rowdy with it, they're going to fall down the leg. May need to be glued on, but they seem to want to stay there at least. For some reason, I can't get the leg any further than that on that side. This side goes out a little bit more, but nice kick forward. One thing that's... Well, this is all females in the Marvel Legends like most females in the Marvel Legends line. We got to work on the elbows, Hasbro. It gets up 290 and not past it. Let's get a bicep swivel. Let's get some double elbows. That'd be cool. I thought the hair was going to be articulated, but it's just a rubber piece stuck in the head. Is it stuck? Yeah, it's glued in there. For accessories, she comes with two katanas, just painted red on the end. We've seen these before, but she doesn't have anywhere to put them unless you just slip them down the back of the harness, which isn't too bad, I guess, if you, you know, don't care about that kind of thing. And her grip on it is a little bit loose so it slides through. And as I was talking about the harnesses staying up, it slipped down. No, get back up there. She also comes with head pull. Nice detail here. The paint kind of loses the detail of the teeth and such. I dig this strap coming down and holding the beanie on, which does spin on top, so not bad. And it also comes with this stand, plugs right into the, wait. Is that a head socket? Well, hell, look at that. It pops onto a head ball. That's pretty cool. But he also has the little stand plugs in, and I do mean little. That's just kind of short. Companies keep making the head pull where he hovers around the knees. Here she is with a standard Marvel Legends female body. You can tell that... Well, I don't know. There's so many bodies anymore, I can't tell what's reuse and what's not. But her chest seems a little bit more augmented <laughs> than some of the other female figures I have, which, again, plays into the whole Deadpool thing. And here she is with the Marvel Select Lady Deadpool, which... Yeah. I don't do a lot of Marvel Select in my Marvel Legends display, but I fit her in. She just looks too good. And here's Marvel Legends head pull with the Marvel Select head pull. It's a little bit grosser. This is more Legends style. This is more Select style. They both have their ups and downs. Casual wear Deadpool. Hello, ladies. I didn't even notice till I opened it that the back was Deadpool hearts. <laughs> That's how observant I am. 
gotta say, this is one hell of an action figure, just just based on what it is. It's an anti-hero in boxer shorts and slippers. What more can you ask for? Now, this is the old Bucky Cap torso. The arms are reused from a previous Deadpool. He's got the pinky sticking out. But the head sculpt's new. <laughs> of course, the boxer shorts with the legs that very Deadpool, very gross. I, I feel like there could be more paintwork here to bring out some detail. They did do some shading. There's some dark uh, gray down in the musculature. And then the one sock on, one sock off, wearing slippers. That's that's brilliant. I've been looking forward to this since I saw it at Toy Fair. Now I do have some warpage in the elbow because of how it was posed in the package. You can see it's not exactly straight, but that's nothing a little heat can't fix. The head sculpt's pretty awesome too. The big smile, the skin blemishes. I wish it was brought out a little with, with some red or something, but again, the sculpt is there. One eye larger than the other, some craziness going on. He's got the belt. If you push the belt up, you can see nice sculpt to the boxer shorts. He comes with what I think are more nerf blasters. In the overall scheme of the line, I'm okay with these coming with the Deadpool figures, but I don't want to see these with every figure. But in the realm of Deadpool, these nerf blaster looking ones, not bad. Deadpool comes with an empty holster, the gun doesn't go in there. Also, looking at the belt, there's some grenades here, but it's just cast in the same color as the rest of the belt. They put some paint right here, and it's a little bit sloppy. I wish there was some green or some other color just to differentiate the grenades from the rest of the belt. Good out on the hips with the boxer shorts, though. Forward, back, he can almost kick his own ass, and then rocker on the slippers, because the slippers rock. See what I did there? <laughs> Wolverine. Oh, and I really like the blue here. Now the paint is a little bit off in places where the tampo mist or something, you can see some blue peeking out the yellow. This is another case of this is cast in yellow with blue paint. This is cast in blue with yellow paint and it doesn't exactly match right there. It misses on the boot just a little bit, but overall, oh, what? Does that come out? That's nifty. It does come out, but I want them in because <laughs> I don't want it just left with a hole right there. The belt floats, but <laughs> it drops down to where it needs to be most of the time. And again, very dynamic hair blowing to the side, but not interfering with other area. If a figure was standing right here, it's not like it's covering. I also like that her claws came out straight in the package. And I was just griping about Lady Deadpool's Wait, what's going on here? I feel like I can go, but it's popping out of the socket. You can get Laura a little bit past 90, but not as much as you could with standard Marvel Legends articulation. I like the overall proportions here, though. Now, I'm not sure of her age in this costume, but I still think of X-23 slash Laura slash Wolverine as late teens, early adulthood. And since she does have Wolverine genes, I, I, she can be skinnier, smaller, you know? I'm good with that. Oh, popping her head off. That's a small ball joint. I'm used to bigger ones in Marvel Legends. And looking at this, it looks like her head is kind of big. I dig the sculpt, and even though I've been going on about dynamic hair, I'm I'm happy that this one is laying down. It's more of a hanging out head or just standing there looking mean at somebody. But it feels a little bit large on this body. Comparing it to the masked head, it doesn't this looks like a completely different head. The mask doesn't smash the head down in size. Not surprisingly, I haven't opened up the other X-23 from uh, the other Deadpool series, I think, but here is Wolverine with Sue. Like I said, this definitely looks like a teen body, but I love the look of it. Maybe I'm just a fan of the Wolverine costume, and you can put it on any body, and I'll be happy with it. Let's take a look at Bishop next. Oh man, it's so 90s. It's if I'm flashing back to high school. Got the wavy mullet. You have the M over the I. Nice tampo here. I, I don't even mind these loose parts at the top of the bicep. They're not going to slip down, they're not going to slip up, and they don't get in the way. That works right there. The belt floats a little bit, stays in place. The yellow is nicely applied all the way down, it looks like. I don't see, well, maybe just a little bit, but it's yellow on blue, again. And then his harness. Okay, <laughs> this could be a little bit smaller, but it was the 90s. Everything was bigger. Everything was pouchy. Everything was over the top. Even this bandana. Look at that thing. That's awesome. And the harness, the bandana and stuff, uh, goes a long way to hide what I don't like about, what is this, the Luke Cage body? I Hyperion used this. It's very shelfy at the top of the pecs, but with the bandana and stuff, I don't notice it near as much. He's got overlay bands at the bottom of the arms. Articulation, not bad at the hips. Elbows come up past 90. He's a little bit muscular, so foot doesn't quite reach ass. And I'm not even a huge fan of Bishop, but that just looks amazing. He comes with a future gun. 
uh, or what he harnesses his power through. Either way, this works. It's kind of a double barrel. No paint on it. Kind of cast in that metallic swirly twirly plastic. That either goes in his hand. He's got trigger fingers for both hands. But he can hold it both nicely. Or it gets put away in his... Oh, that works. Oh. And I sound overly giddy, but I'm not a huge fan of the Jim Lee era. It's just, you give me a good action figure... I'm gonna like it. Oh shit! I didn't even notice that they gave him up and down wrists on both. I'm gonna have to find double guns or something. He needs to use both of those. You're gonna stand and you're gonna like it. And surprisingly, I was able to find my old Toy Biz Marvel Legends Bishop and it's, it's night and day, really. Sure, Toy Biz put in all that extra sculpt. It's ultra detailed, a lot of paint work. But just look at the articulation. I don't like the hip balls. I can't put his arms down. Look at the size of his biceps compared to his head. And the proportions. Why is his crotch so high? Where's the rest of his torso? And I'm saying that as a guy who loves a lot of the Toy Biz era. I hunted all these figures down. This is the cartoon, which I never watched much of. This is the cartoon come to life. This is the comic book come to life. I, I have to give it up to Hasbro for giving us this. Look at the size of that holster. And then there's Omega Red. I was really interested in this new body, and it looks like... Like some of the smaller bodies scaled up. The biggest thing here is the butterfly joint in the shoulder. Nice range forward, nice range back. It just opens up a lot of posing possibilities. I nearly said possibility possibilities. I like the size. I like the sculpt. I've seen a lot of people switching out the bottom to give them the white boot look from, I think it was the cartoon. That carries over the white down to here, but it almost makes it look like skin. I'm kind of okay with the red boots or booties or skin suit going down to his feet. Again, dynamic hair looks really nice on him and it doesn't get in the way of articulation. It can still look up and down, still some tilt, swivel. The shoulder pads are going to keep you from rotating around, but you can get out and get around it for the most part. Nice range in the hips too. Out, forward, good range in the knee. Elbow comes up. There's not a lot of cutout at the top of the elbow going up into the bicep. That point right there is pretty much that. All the bend is in the lower. That face sculpt is so cool. And he has the red eyes with a little bit of shadow underneath. It kind of brings out some, I'm evil. And then whatever the metal going down to the mouth, it's all there. Now I'm looking at it. I'm seeing the white. I'm seeing the red. Some nice paint detail in the face, but I wish there was some shading. Something to bring out some detail down here. And especially right here. It's just kind of lost when you're looking at it. Also, he comes with these unposable tentacles coming out of his wrist. I like the short ones. He's just hanging around the base, getting ready to go out and kick some ass. But he also comes with these longer tentacles. And those just plug into the wrist. They're soft, but they're not posable. It'll go back to the position it was in. I like that they at least gave us the long ones and the short ones to give us options. But I like to see some bendy wire. Something. Bendy wire like the old Toy Biz Omega Red, which... <laughs> Mine seen better days. I had to dig this out from the bottom of a tub. It's discolored. Uh, yeah, it's not looking great. But again, Toy Biz packed in a lot of paint, a lot of sculpt, a lot of the current articulation from that time, but it just doesn't hold up today. The articulation over here is just better implemented. Yes, there's cuts. You can see where the articulation is, but it's not like a ball joint or a big ass elbow. And the skinny legs and the arms, I, this one again wins for me. Except for the bendy tentacles. Those are pretty awesome. Ooh, and then there is the Build-A-Figure Sauron. I, I really like this, guys. I understand a lot of this is the Amazing Spider-Man Lizard. I don't think I ever got that figure. So to me, this is all new, even though it's not all new. I have some looseness in the torso that just kind of moves around. But I think if I ever display him, or when I display him, if he's hanging up, if he's flying, he'll be hanging by his upper body anyway. So this doesn't really... Well, I don't know. It's just kind of... He still stands thanks to the tail being on a hinge right there. You can bring it up, you can bring it down, and you can tripod him. Help out there. The head's on a ball joint up at the top. He can look up. This also slides back so you can get full on flying. He's got articulated jaw with full on teeth paint and tongue and looking kind of nasty up in there. Oh, oops, I popped the skirt off. Oh no. Easy enough to pop back on. You can't be running around with a naked Sauron. The hips look really splayed out, but I think it's because, you know, that old lizard body was an older Hasbro figure. And then the wings, you can bring them in, you can straighten the arm, and they kind of fold into themselves right here. If you bend the arm and you flare that out, oh man, that just looks fantastic. Like, it doesn't look like one piece, it's plastic. Of course it's not gonna look, you know, just streamlined. That looks great. Is that the new part, the head? This is the lizard neck, this is the Sauron head. That works for me. Oh, you can even perch them a little bit. I bet it goes deeper. I bet it 
It does. That's annoying me more and more as I go to pose. As I'm posing it, it doesn't really work against the pose I'm going for. It's not like I want them, well, maybe I would want them arc back. <laughs> of course. Yeah, that may get popped apart. See what I can do in there. Thicken up the ball, something. It just looks mean. This makes me want, a, who is it, Garok, the petrified man? I need some more Savage Land stuff. And the skirt came off again. If nothing else, I'm gonna glue that peg into there so it, it'll float but at least it'll stay on. That is just impressive as hell. So at the end of the day, just an overall very nice wave. I'm super happy that I got a case of these. Yeah, I end up with an extra Lady Deadpool and another school uniform Deadpool, but I'm good with that. I'm a huge fan of Deadpool, so I'm good with any kind of costume variation that they give to him. And if they continue the Deadpool waves with supporting X-Men characters, I mean, why is Bishop in a Deadpool wave? Who cares? We got a Bishop, that's awesome. Why Sauron there? Why is Omega, well, I, I can kind of see Omega make a red in a Deadpool wave. Either way, it works. Throw all the extra characters you want in there. I will take them. And if we get some extra Deadpools, even better. I'll buy multiples. And yeah, some gripes, but overall, <laughs> this may go on the shelf just like this. They're all awesome. So if you like the review, comment, like, subscribe. I'll catch you on the foosh. Except for Headpool. Headpool needs to be up here. I, we need a more substantial stand for him. And yeah, a cape to make the madcap head. I, I gotta make a morph. This school uniform body, it's just great for that. With Blink coming, even better. In fact, I kinda want to see a warpath on the Omega Red body. 